Hi, it's Eldnar Nivek here. We're looking at A-level maths. The specs we're dealing with are, well, all A-level maths spec, but essentially OCR and a AQA. We're looking at um, Core 1, and this is Lesson 8, and it's based on equations that reduce to a quadratic. So the spec says, recognise and solve equations in X, which have quadratic in some function of X. So you will get a question on the exam, that you won't first of all recognize as a quadratic. For example, this one here, t to the power of 4 minus 13t squared plus 36 equals 0. It's in fact what we call a quartic expression uh, equation. It's to the power of 4. So how do we handle that? Well, first of all, we make a substitution. And in this substitution, we're going to say that let x equal t squared. So we'll let x equal t squared. Which means that x squared equals t to the power of 4. So now we can see if we substitute in the original equation, we'll get x squared, which is t to the power of 4, minus 13x, which is 13t squared, plus 36 equals 0. Now, if we solve that by, um, normally you'll be able to solve these by factorization, and we'll see that the factors we need, uh, um, we need a minus 9, minus 4. Because minus 9 times minus 4 gives us uh, plus 36, so that should be a 6 there. And minus 9 plus minus 4 gives us minus 13. So then we get, set up our brackets, we get x minus 9 multiplied by x minus 4 equals 0, which means x equals 9 or x equals 4. But we've also we've already said that x equals t squared as our original substitution. So that means t equals the root of x. So that gives us t equals plus or minus 3, or t equals plus or minus 2. And there are two solutions for the solving that equation. So we'll look at another example. And this one is x to the 4, another quartic, minus 5x squared, plus 4, equals 0. So the substitution we're going to use now is x squared equals y. It doesn't matter what we call it, we call it y. So then we do the substitution. Instead of x squared, we'll put y. So the equation becomes y squared minus 5y plus 4 equals 0. Look at, see if that factorises. Yes, it does. And we can use minus 4 and minus 1. So we factor that expression and we get y minus 4 times y minus 1 equals 0, which gives us y equals 4 or y equals 1. But, um, we know from our original substitution that x equals the square root of y. So that gives us x equals plus or minus 2. The one solution there. Or x equals plus or minus 1. Look at another example.
here we've got x to the 4 minus 10x squared plus 9 equals 0. And I think you can be able to see now that the substitution we're going to use is we substitute for x squared and we'll say again that x squared equals y. So we'll let x squared equals y. So then our expression becomes, our equation, sorry, becomes y squared minus 10y plus 9 equals 0. Look for the factors. Two factors that multiply together to give plus 9 and add together to give minus 10 are minus 9 and minus 1. So we've got the brackets are y minus 9 multiplied by y minus 1 equals 0, <clears throat> which gives us y equals 9 or y equals 1. So that gives us x equals root 9, which is plus or minus 3, or x equals plus or minus 1. So there are solutions to that. This is one that's given in the in the specification. The example it taken exactly from the specification. It's a little bit more complex on the face of it. We've got x to the two over three minus five x to the one over three plus four equals zero. We've got to think a little bit about our substitution here. But I think we can see that if we let y equals x to the one third, which is a cube root of x, then when we square that we get x equals, we get uh, x to the two over three. So our equation then becomes y squared minus five y plus four equals zero as before. Then we can factorise that and we'll get y minus 4 multiplied by y minus 1 equals 0. So y equals 4 or y equals 1. Now as y equals the cube root of x taken from here we can see that x equals 4 cubed which equals 64 or x equals 1 cubed which equals 1 x to the 6 minus 7x cubed minus 8 equals 0. So we want something that we can square to get x to the 6. So if we say, let's let x cubed equals y. So then, doing the substitution, we can get y squared minus 7y minus 8 equals 0. Factorise y minus 8 multiplied by y plus 1 equals 0. That means either y minus 8 equals 0, in which case y equals 8, or y plus 1 equals 0, in which case y equals minus 1. Now for our substitution, we've got x cubed equals y, so we can say x cubed equals 8 in that case, which gives us x equals 2. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. 
But when we've got y equals minus 1, we've got x cubed equals minus 1. So that means x. If x was 1, 1 times 1 times 1 gives us plus 1. So it can't be 1. If x was minus 1, minus 1 cubed is minus 1 times minus 1, which is plus 1 times minus 1, which is minus 1. So x equals minus 1. So there are the two solutions for that. So that's how you solve a quartic equation or an equation that reduces to a quadratic by the substitution. Um, just two examples for you to try yourself. We've got x to the power of 4 minus 5x squared minus 6 equals 0. First thing is settle on the substitution, do the substitution, try and factor it, and then uh, undo the substitution, as it were. The other example is x to the power of 6 plus x cubed minus 12 equals 0. Again, find the substitution. So they're the type of examples that you will get in the exam. So thanks for watching, and next time we'll go on to further quadratics to finish that section.